Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on a very basic test case for checking whether a newly instantiated user is valid or not and we got the spec working. Now in this lecture, we will again work on a very basic test coverage but now we will check this for an active record callback method in the user model. In the user model, you can see that we created a before save callback that is check state present and where we are setting the state value to the same as country if the state is nil. Okay, and why we created this callback? Because the, we, we are using the country select gem to list all the countries, but uh, some countries does not return any state list. So in that case, we need to set the state name as same as the country name. Okay, if the country does not return any state list. And we need to verify this using a spec. So open the user spec.rb and define another let with method name user1 and create a new user instance using the factory. So just go to the user spec and here you need to define a new let. So you can do let and then user1 okay. and then now you need to use create user. Okay. And just to do state nil. Make a space here. Here you can see that I use the create method for the second let and I am also sending state as nil. We need to pass the state value as nil because in the factory we already provided a value of the state. So if you do not pass the nil, this will get the default value and spec will get failed. Okay. For example, here you can see in the users factory. We provided the value MP to states. So that's why if you want to check our callback, you need to pass the state as nil. Okay. Else your spec will get filled. Now let's define it block for the test or the test case for testing the callback. So let's define an it block, it block. And in this it block, what you need to write should have state name is country name if the state is nil the state is nil and then do and here we need to write our expect command okay so what we are expecting here so expect user one dot state so to eq user one dot country save it now so let me again explain that what this test case will do first it will use this user one method with that we defined using the let and it will create a user and pass the state as nil okay and if the state is nil then you can see this callback before save check state present and it will save the state value as the country name okay and we just we just expect the same thing in the spec now save the file and run the spec so after saving the file switch to the terminal and in the terminal let's run the command to generate to run the test so our spec spec models and then user spec.rb and when you will run this test you will get two examples and zero failures here you can see two examples zero failure it means this coverage has been passed okay and if you want to see the value of user one you can just add a debugger here and now run this test so we will get the value of user one so when you run this spec it will halt after running the first case here you can see it is halt and now if you see the user one you can see that state is india and country is india why because in the factories you can see that in factories we just said the country as india and within the spec we are passing state as the nil so that's why when we pass state as the nil our spec sorry our before save callback has been done and it said the state's value as india and now just exit from the debugger and you can see that two examples zero failures it means both of our examples has been worked now suppose if you have multiple cases and if you want to run any specific case then what how you can do that so here you can see you can also run specs based upon their line number so you can see that second it block started at the line number 12 and you don't want to execute the 
first test so how you can do that so you can just simply run the line number here so just made r spec rails sorry r spec spec models user spec dot rb and line number 12 so it will just run the second test case and here you can see one example zero failure it means from the line number one there is only one example that's why we are getting one example and zero failure and that's it our spec is successfully passed now in the next lecture we will take one more step forward by validating user countries we will only accept a country if it is provided by the country select gem else we will not expect to value for the user country so thanks for watching this and stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and Stay safe.